Good morning, Rockford High School. I'm Sam Erickson. And I'm Mark Nato, and welcome to Beyond the Rock School News. With the holiday season well underway, there are plenty of events around downtown Rockford you can go to to celebrate this holiday season. In fact, just a few weeks ago, we had our annual Christmas parade. Thousands gathered around to see this event. Let's check it out. I love doing the Santa Parade because I get to dress up like an elf and it's like a lot of fun and I love my team. What's your favorite part of the parade? Um, just throwing out candy and waving. The favorite thing I enjoy about the Christmas is the kids, the excitement of the anticipation of Santa Claus coming. In the past 69 years, the Rockford community has hosted a Santa Claus parade that draws hundreds of people together for morning fun and celebration in the heart of downtown Rockford. The Santa Parade is a way to get the community together to celebrate the special holiday of Christmas. I like coming down here because I love seeing everybody join in one place for the holidays. Well, I love our team because we have terrific chemistry and camaraderie and everyone's just really come together this year and we all love each other and uh, it's just it's terrific to see really. My favorite part of the parade is that we get to be in a float. There are businesses that enter floats from all over using it as a way to promote their business and bring in customers during the holiday season. The parade also includes varsity programs such as Rockford Hockey, Softball, and Girls Lacrosse. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Whereas the Christmas Parade was a great way for groups and organizations to show their Christmas spirit, homes all around Rockford were decorated for the holidays. We took a stroll through some neighborhoods to see how they decked out their houses with their lights. Every year around the holidays, homes, businesses, and local communities decorate using Christmas decorations, Christmas trees, and what stands out the most, it's got to be the Christmas lights. The U.S. is on track to spend $6 billion on just Christmas decorations alone, an 8% increase from the 2011 year. Our whole Christmas department, they've spent a lot more time here this year than they have in the past years that I've noticed. While speaking with Mike at Lowe's, he gave us an idea of what the sales have been like this Christmas season. Uh, we have had Christmas lights, Every, all of this area was full of Christmas lights three weeks ago and as you can see now, two thirds of them are gone already. At one point the city of Rockford had come down and purchased almost every little white light that we had and if you go downtown Rockford now you'll see them all over the place. From communities to residential homes, Christmas lights are always one of the most popular things around the holiday season. But why do people do it? Um, just kind of fun. Um, I started collecting them oh, years ago and, and then I just add something to it and pretty soon it got to where I don't have any more electricity to add anything else. A wife doesn't like that too much. <laughs> we do it because we really enjoy the lights and we just try to give something back to the community. No, I started around in August. Then we can't put nothing in the yard until after Halloween. But the trees are done, the house is all done. But after Halloween, then we put everything else out in the yard. Even though these folks invest so much time, money, and dedication into decorating their homes, those of us who get the pleasure of driving by are thankful for their Christmas spirit. Those were some pretty awesome decorations. They sure were. Now to wrap things up, we went around Rockford High School and asked you what you were doing for your holiday break. I'm going to Oklahoma to see my grandma. I'm going to Boyne to go snowboarding. Glad maybe ice skate a little bit. Uh, glad. Yeah, eat and sleep. Spending time with family and sleeping. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep. All right, I'm just gonna be swimming and eating. I'm gonna draw all break. For Christmas break, uh, I'm just gonna hang around Rockford, hang out with my girlfriend, hang out with friends. Just not being confined to a schedule, I think that's probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most. For Christmas break, I'm going to stay at home and go snowboarding. I'm going to my cousin's wedding in Tennessee. I am hanging out with friends and sleeping in for Christmas break. I'm going to Florida to go golfing and lay in the sun and not be here. 
Thank you for watching Beyond the Rock. Have a great weekend.